Hey, hey, everybody. I am Jeremy Beaver, and you are tuned into another edition of District Spotlight every Friday at 5 with myself and my co host, DJ B Dub the Boy Wonder. <laughs> Damn. That was official, like a fat girl with a whistle. Oh, God, and Godzilla. Damn it. We are on point today. And why are we on point today, B Dub? Because it's Fire Friday. It's Fire Fridays. That's right. Here at Listen Vision, every single Friday, twelve to ten p.m. You get a fire. You get a fire. You get a fire. You get a fire. And gummy bears to you. Okay. And <laughs> come on out here, twenty six twenty two Georgia Avenue, Northwest, right at the entrance to Howard University. Uh, all day from twelve noon until ten p.m. We uh, have the number one cannabis networking event in the entire DMV. So Number come out one. and participate in it if you could see some of the smoke billowing into the camera frame now. Anyways, look what we got going on today. Oh my god, I'm going to like okay. stand up and try to do this from a standing position. Yo, look at this. Oh, look at this tower, you guys. Holy shit. That's a lot. You know what that all is? Records. It's record. It's records. <laughs> it's vinyl records. You know what that actually reminds me of, though? Jenga. No. Oh, God, yes. Let's not play that with these records. <laughs> no, please don't. No. Um, no, no, no. So we have the largest collection of hip-hop memorabilia in the country here at Listen Vision and the Hip-Hop Museum. Uh, but a lot of people don't realize that what rivals our collection or a part of our collection is autographed hip-hop vinyl. Love it. I am an old DJ from the 1800s. I used to scratch on just like Victrolas and Edison, uh, you know, turntables. And uh, because of my DJ background, I'm just addicted to vinyl. And uh, my wife hates me as a result of this. When we drive into our garage, we can't like barely get out of our cars. Like the whole garage is lined with vinyl. Everything. Yeah. Sorry, wifey, but I love you. <laughs> Please don't leave me. Um, okay. So we started today. We had no idea what we were going to do today. Okay. Static Selecta was supposed to be our guest, but it's okay. You're famous and busy. So instead, what we're doing, uh, um, Jay, do you have the uh, sl the um, flyer of the Static Selecta thing? Um, it's a blue flyer. Here we are. Static Selecta, this Saturday here in Washington, D.C., he is going to be hosting the Shatterday Cypher. That's right. I didn't say Saturday. I said Shatterday because that's what they do on Saturday at this Cypher. This coming Saturday, 120, January 20th, okay, with DJ B-Side, brought to you by Cannabis Karma and Feed the Scene. You will have to go online to get your tickets or, or, back to me, back to me, back to me. Call in now, call in now to win tickets for Static Selecta this Saturday, 202-332. 8494. The number's running at the bottom of the screen. 202 332 8494. Not only will you win tickets to Static Selecta, but we're giving away crazy studio discounts and deals. So if you want crazy studio discounts and deals or tickets to Static Selecta, call in. Okay. Bam. Thanks. Thanks for the bomb drops. No one drops them more than Funkmaster Flex, though. Is that right? Uh, I'm catching up with him. You're catching up. Well,. You're going to Godzilla sound him to death. Yeah, take that, Funk. Funkmaster Flex, take that! <laughs> That's my Funkmaster Flex. Go ahead, boom, go ahead. Yeah, that wasn't a very good impression. Okay, so B-dubs... No, wait, last week was you. I'm this week. So I'm going to start with you, or maybe I'll end with you. Do you okay. have your answer to this yet, or do you want to formulate it? Uh, what was the, Repeat that again. <laughs> what was, what was the question again? Was three. So we are hip-hop heads with amnesia. So... If a here's the question of the week: If a person had never heard hip hop ever before, what three albums would you suggest them to listen to? Mm. Okay, so you can formulate your answer. I already have mine. Uh, one person almost said mine, but I want to quickly run through some of the folks that uh, that gave us answers. We said we would mention them. Okay, uh, Tony Blue Eyes, Tony Hewlett said, uh, "Run DMC," their self-titled album, "Run DMC." Uh, Public Enemy, Fear of a Black Planet, and NWA, Straight Outta Compton. Richard Lawrence Jackson said, Sugar Hill Gang and BDP, My Philosophy. That's two, not three. Okay. 
Jay from uh, Gentleman's Suite said Nas Illmatic, Outcast Southern Playlist at Cadillac Music, Lauren Hill's The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. And he said Extra Credit was Jay Z's The Blueprint, which uh, he got two on there that I think, or three on there that are pretty good. Uh, Brian Danielle, uh, my boy uh, from Brooklyn, uh, said uh, Beastie Boys Paul's Boutique, Wu Tang Clan Enter the 36 Chambers, and Eric B's Paid in Full. And then he said No Fair Boom. These surveys are revealing my age. So my answer is actually the exact same as his, except instead of uh, Beastie Boys Paul's Boutique, I would probably say... Um, so I would say Enter the 36 Chambers, Paid in Full. Okay. And then I would say Illmatic Nas. That I was going there. I was going there with that one. Okay. So uh, that's my answer. We'll save yours for the very end. That's my work, answer, okay? Derek Harmon said uh, Midnight Marauders, A Tribe Called Quest, The Blueprint, Jay-Z, and Outcasts, Equemini. Uh, Real Big, Rayel Biggs said Notorious Bi- Big, Ready to Die, Big Punisher, Capital uh-huh. Punishment, DMX, uh, It's Dark and Hell's Hot. Um... And then Derek Harmon replied to his message, that's the New York starter kit. Um, <laughs> my boy uh, Setomundo said, A Tribe Called Quest Low End Theory, NWA's Straight Outta Compton, two live crews as nasty as they want to be. Wow. I don't know why you would want uh, people who haven't listened to hip-hop before to think that hip-hop He's is face down and ass up. But hey, you know, however you like it. Seto Mundo. I won't tell nobody else. Roger Batchelor, uh, one of the greatest photographers I've ever seen, said uh, Public Enemy, It Takes a Nation, Paid in Full, and Midnight Marauders. Okay. Jermaine Johnson said Low End Theory, The Chronic, and Illmatic. Dave Thomas said Little Brother, The Listening, AZ, Do or Die, and uh, Commons Resurrection. I thought that was an interesting answer because that was very different than everyone else's. Uh, my boy, uh, Patrick Murphy, uh, also n- a.k.a. Ron Corona, said Illmatic, The War Report, Liquid Swords, and uh, his own release. Uh, thank you, Jacob, for sharing the live stream in advance, broski. Uh, Snoop, Marcus Brewster said Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style, Jay-Z's Blueprint, Outcast Equemini. Uh-huh. So Jay-Z's Blueprint has already gotten like three votes. I can't, I can't say anything now. I can't. Mine is already up there. All three of mine are already said. Have been said, said but you have so. to say them together. Has anyone said them all to yours together, though? Uh, no. no. Right, me neither. Okay, so someone just wrote one album, Tupac, Me Against the World. I guess he thinks that album represents three. Uh, Torrance Swain said Tribe's first album, which is uh, People's Past Instinctive Rhythm of the and Nasty and Dab Dab. And uh, Reasonable Doubt, Jay Z and The Chronic. I don't remember the name of that album. Um,. Okay, we also have, uh, hold on, Dave Thomas, Patrick Murphy, Ronnie, uh, Myra Jane said uh, Scarface's The Diary, that was uh, a very great, Jay-Z's great, great Reasonable Doubt, and Dr. Dre's The Chronic. I could, I could make a compelling argument on my list to replace Illmatic with The Chronic. Um, not that Illmatic, you know, isn't deserving, but that The Chronic is even more deserving. Uh, Rob, Bob... Robillard, Robillard said to Chronic, Doggy Style, and any album by Big, which of there's only two. And uh, Teflon Perion said uh, Marley Marl's In Control, Volume 1, Nas's Illmatic, and Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. That's good, the Marley Marl one. I'm impressed with that. He also tagged Marley Marl, uh, who I'm now going to follow uh, um, right this second. Um, B Dub. Three albums, an, an alien just landed. The alien came to your house and said, Hey, man, I heard you don't like Aspen Hill a lot. <laughs> I'm fucking with him. Hey, man, since we're here in Aspen Hill and you're always getting fucked with, what uh, what are your three? I heard about this thing called hip hop. What three albums would you recommend, B-Dub? I cannot with this guy. Um, I would say Jay-Z's Blueprint. That's been said, of course. Nas, Illmatic, and Biggie. Biggie. Uh, sky's the limit. Uh, well, you, not sky, I'm sorry, not Sky's the limit. But ready to die. Ready so. to die. Okay. I mean, that's a decent so. list. That's a, that's a really decent list. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, we have adorned the screen in the studio with all these records. Okay. We're going to go to a break here. But I want to let you know that uh, we're going to be giving away tickets all throughout the show to I Static Selecta. That. You just posted that. We're going to tell everyone about the Tuesday event. We're going to tell everyone about the Wednesday event. And we're going to eat some crazy candy. 
and we're going to decide if it's edible or regrettable. Okay? Edible or regrettable. And when we come back, we're going to start going through this entire pile of all the autographed vinyl here. I can't really pet it because it's really jagged. Uh, all the autographed vinyl here at the Hip Hop Museum. Okay? That and in the meanwhile, it's one sexy stack. In the meanwhile, I want to take you guys to, let me see, Eminem. Okay? Eminem, when he was just getting signed uh, by Interscope back in the day, he did an incredible freestyle in the bathroom at Interscope. Yes, in the toilet, literally. And uh, what do we do here at the Beat Bar at Listen Vision? We take your freestyles and we remix them with beats from the Beat Bar. That's what we did. Check out Bathroom Rap Question. featuring... Yo, okay. Was he clean? <laughs> <laughs> he actually did not wash his hands. And I'm not going to judge him for that because he's a beast on the mic and will probably start a beef with me because I'm sure I'm really on his radar. So let's go to now Eminem's Bathroom Rap, remixed by the Beat Bar here at Listen Vision Studios. Take it away. That, you know, Eminem, even before he got big and blew up, I thought he had bars, and uh, I thought that that was a, a pretty good, you know, edit uh, to, to sync his freestyle bars to one of our beats that's available now for only $100 here at the Beat Bar. All right, moving on, moving on. So um, today, we're going to be going through vinyl, okay? All day today, we're going to be going through vinyl, and we're going to be showing you guys some of the incredible pieces that are here at the uh, at the studio. Um, the first piece I want to show you guys is uh, a piece that, if you have a hip hop museum, you kind of have to have, right? So you have to have this piece. And we and we both, I think this was on your list. Was Illmatic on your list of the three hip hop albums? Uh -huh, yes, it was. So. Okay. So, with that in mind, and if you want to just zoom into the signature there. So there we go, piece number one, piece number one. And if you do not like that album, you need to go play on 295 right now. Well, you're not a hip-hop fan if you don't like this album. And You know, uh, one of the interesting yet regrettable things that happened to me when I was at the Large Professor show, as I was standing there with, uh, you know, I Just Want to Chill, the single, and the microphone that he signed. As I was standing there, I thought to myself, oh, I'm so stupid, I should have brought Illmatic. He produced three tracks on Illmatic, and uh, sure. that would make that record so much cooler and more valuable, okay? Now, this, is, this piece isn't autographed, but it's, it's equally rare, um, because a lot of people don't know uh, where uh, Dr. Dre got his start. He got his start in a group, in a world-class wrecking crew, as a DJ. Shout out to all the and, DJs. Uh, this is Dr. Dre's very first record. You can see it says uh, featuring Dr. Dre at the bottom there. A uh, rap by DJ Clientel. See, he's a doctor. 
And instead of a scalpel, he's asking for a mixer. You see, that's the joke, you see? And his patient is the turntables. Do you get it? Do you get it? Cool, that's awesome. That's pretty neat. All right, moving on, moving on. I wanna send a shout out to Highball. Highball is sugar-free organic energy with guarana and ginseng and I vitamin B. I love the B. name of that drink. And uh, yeah, Highball. For anyone who's feeling like your balls are sagging too low, pick them up, get them high. Get a highball. Mmm, delicious. I'm pretty sure they just love that promo too as well. Boom, but go ahead. Yeah, I'm sure our sponsors is <laughs> they, like they love that one. <laughs> next week. We won't be sponsored by Highball, thanks to that comment. Hey, we're not regulated by the FCC. Give me a break. Last week we did the Pop Rock Challenge. Uh-huh. B Dub hated me for it. I asked him to and I still do. open his mouth and let us hear the popping of the rocks, and he looked at me like, uh, I want to kill you and throw you out the window. So uh, this week, we're going to just not not like make him close his eyes and swallow things that he's unfamiliar with. <laughs> we're just going to give him some of this crap. We're both going to eat it, and we're going to see if it's even edible. Anyways, so... Uh, I have a big, big record coming up next, but instead I want to quickly go to a break here. Um, Howard Homecoming is a really, really big deal uh, in Washington, D.C. It's a big deal for Listen Vision Studios, but it's also a big deal for the over 20 artists that perform with us every single year uh, for the last like 13 years. Uh, we've been in business for like 20 years, literally 20 years, here at the entrance to Howard University, and Eddie Kane hosts it every single year. He does an incredible job, and, and people have an unbelievable platform uh, to perform and broadcast. We live stream it. We record the whole thing. If you want to see any of the performances, go to YouTube and search for Listen Vision. They're all on our page. But right now, uh, I'd like to show you an official recap from 2017's Howard Homecoming. So make sure you sign up for this year, 2018. Here it is, hosted by Eddie Kane, the official recap of Howard Homecoming. Check it out. Yes, radio divisionlive.com man shout out everybody man how a homecoming we get ready to do it on a major level and show you major love hey can't tell you enough man we got to do it for the independent artists all around the world especially everybody down at HU for homecoming Howard Homecoming popping off. Georgia Avenue is crazy. Howard University right across the street. So Listen Vision is blasting off with the annual Howard Homecoming block party, Friday and Saturday. Do you right, promise she would do you right, but this girl you do not right. Somebody... Mm-hmm. 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 I'll be on my way in like five minutes. Let me is you wearing now, but... What you supposed to do? I wanted to find a thing. Nice and neck is cold. I wanted to sign a track. Yeah, this was a spider ain't mine. Wanna ride outside my pockets and uh straight drop. Check your stuff, lover, uh-huh. You can call me Miss 915 because I'm straight. Been in this game 20 plus years. You feel me? Out here, Howard University alumni. <laughs> yeah, I am. I don't know if you knew that, but yes, I am. And you know, I got to give props to Listen Vision. I still be trapping. I still be trapping. Hey, I want them bitches blue. I want them bitches blue, huh? I want them bitches blue. Hey, I want them bitches blue. Yeah, you know that gas be. Round round like taxi. All my money is to get this is what it is, man. Right next door, listen, vision. That's family. You know what I mean? The whole rooftop. You know what I mean? The whole mixtape game. All of it started right here on this block. So if y'all know what's going on. Make sure you pay attention. We got history here. Hu, class of '97. You know what I mean? You already know what it is. To show my brain for I woke up with this don't sleep on me Big bucks like me on me My weave came from a unicorn Your shit can't let up
Probably be your flick, close casket at your way and shit. Wow. Baby, my she look whisk me. Stop for me. And we're back. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is District Spotlight. I am Jeremy Beaver, CEO and founder of Listen Vision, with my DJ. B Dub the Boy Wonder. God, I love, I love how he can make his voice so deep on command. It's so cool. So you're watching the vinyl edition. The vinyl edition. Yeah. Ha ha. Got your attention. Vinyl edition. Vinyl edition. Nothing's unboxed today. Just tons and tons of fucking vinyl. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to the next piece of vinyl here. Uh, you know, I don't know if uh, we have the largest collection of vinyl, but we've got the largest collection of hip hop memorabilia. And uh, I'd like to think that pieces like this are what really make our collection very special. This is uh, Brand wow. Nubian's debut album, signed by all three members. And all three members of Brand Nubian are Grand Pooba. Sadat X, Lord Jamar, and Alamo with the A. You know DJ what that is, Alamo. Boom? Yes. That is... The real hip-hop! The real hip-hop! That definitely is, that's what that is. Yo, um, do that again. The what is this? The real hip-hop! The real hip-hop! Hip yes, that's... Hip -hop, hip -hop, that's what that is. I love it! That's what that is. My DJ fucking rocks. All right, we can get beats going on in the background so I don't you know, seem like I'm in a vacuum here. Oh, whoops. Okay, here's something really cool, guys. Oh my, wait, yep. Oh God, look at this. This is an actual acetate from the cutting room. One of the most famous, if not the most famous, mastering and mixing houses in all of music. This is a DJ Premier produced Craig David record featuring Most Deaf. And this is the acetate, meaning this is what the records were all made from. And this is from the cutting room, and I believe that that is DJ Premier's handwriting. We haven't confirmed that, but I believe it is. And if it is, this piece is even more valuable. So that's right. DJ Premier's up in this piece. Nice. Okay. So, oh God, I feel like I'm going through it fast, but it's just because there's so much of it. Now, we were just at the Kennedy Center for the Bridge Concert Series. And the Bridge Concert Series featured some of the most classic hip-hop acts and artists in all of hip-hop and this right here is my favorite single from cool mo d how you like me now signed by the one and only cool mo d right there on the vinyl that's right cool mo d was in the building with curtis blow and roxanne shante and houdini and all of my favorite acts from back in the day back in the day okay we also have, we also have, I guess it's a little bit controversial. Um, I guess it's a little bit controversial. It's it's not to me. Okay. Um, I don't want to be rude, and I don't want to make a crazy statement here, but I am able to separate Def Jam the music from Russell Simmons and any improprieties he might have had. Anyways, I've, I've worked with Russell on and off over the years, and... If anyone knows anything about Russell Simmons, you know he doesn't sign shit. So this is an LL Cool J record, bigger and deeper. Bigger and deafer, sorry, bigger and deeper. That's a porno movie. Uh, this is Bigger and Deafer, signed by Russell Simmons. <laughs> Stop laughing, Bita. <laughs> Anyways, it's really rare. I, I, I really... Listen, if you're a hip hop head, you gotta have respect and honor, you know, what Russell Simmons has has given and contributed to the industry. So I'm sorry to anyone that that, that has had a bad experience with him, but uh, let's think about Def Jam and all the great things they've done in contrast. Okay. Moving right along, Jacob, did you show the uh, the D the Dougie Fresh piece um on your show today last week you showed it right so right before this show is our digital content manager manager jacob moss uh last week he showed the dougie fresh uh piece uh but uh oh, God, I'm bad at this. okay there we go there we go okay 
So this is Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh crew. Go up, go up. Oh, I'm going up. Oh, I'm, oh, oh look at that. We're raising together. Okay. Uh, and this was, you know, signed and made out to yours truly, to DJ Boom. Much love and respect from Dougie Fresh. And uh, we did from 2006. And we did a whole bunch of uh, tracks together here at the studio. And he signed a microphone for us in a hat that you can uh, see here in the collection. And let me just tell you, class act. Class act. You rappers need to uh, aspire to be an act the way Dougie Fresh uh, does. Let me tell you, that guy is such a cool guy, such a great entertainer. And then came back, like it was like a month later, Jacob, he and Slick Rick performed at the Capital One Center. So shout out Dougie Fresh. And uh, man, if I had thought of it, we could have played uh, one of the tracks I produced for Dougie Fresh. But um, we'll do that next time. Uh, all right, let's get one more in, and then we're going to go to a break. You still with me? I'm still here. All right, cool. So a lot of people uh, know that are in this area that Pete Rock's brother lives here. Pete Rock's brother, his name is Grap Lava. Yes. Grap, that's right, and you've met him. Yes. Grap Lava isn't just the brother of Pete Rock. He's also an incredible MC and producer himself who actually, uh, this is what I'm going to do from now on, Jacob. I'm going to do it like this. Who actually uh, is the... Uh, lead MC of the most bootleg album in the history of hip-hop called I and I on uh, the I and I album was produced by Pete Rock and featuring four MCs of which Grap Lova was one and these are the lost sessions that Pete Rock just put out last month the lost sessions of I and I and that's the Pete Rock kind of logo in there looking really cool and then uh, of course my boy uh, Graf Lova had to come by and sign it for us to make it special and head it to the museum. So, there you go, Pete Rock. It's a new vinyl. Um, I love how he's, he's feeding the kangaroo. Like yeah, I, I was trying to think of some words I could say about Holly Selassie feeding a kangaroo. I, I just don't know what to say. I'm Jacob, not, you got us? What you got, bro? He's usually weirder than that. I he's know, he usually is he's like just... helping us behind the scenes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. A like three people get that. Joke. I'll give that. To All you. right, I'll give that to you. All right, so let's go to a break now. We're gonna uh, break things up here a little bit, okay? So right now, um, MF Doom uh, is really one of my favorite rappers of all time, and he experienced a tragic loss in his family. Uh, so R.I.P. to MF Doom's son. Um, who recently passed away, but we wanted to immortalize or commemorate, you know, just how long MF Doom has been in the game. And if you know anything about him, you know, he started as a member of the group KMD, uh, you know, which is also an album that we have here. And that was shelved by Warner Brothers back in the day because of its controversial artwork. Um, but we have unearthed a clip of MF Doom on C-SPAN as, excuse me, I just burped, as a 19-year-old, okay? He is a 19-year-old advocating for voter rights. Okay, so this guy was way ahead of his time, not just lyrically, but uh, consciously and politically. So let's roll this clip of MF Doom, cut to a beat that I produced, available now on the Beat Bar for only, excuse me, $100. I just burped again. Uh, for $100, you can get this beat now. And I thought that the beat, because of what it's saying, would fit perfectly. I'm talking about I'm a punk. And, uh, yeah, I guess he's being a little bit of a punk here and sticking the finger in the eye of the United States government uh, with, uh, you know, activating uh, voters of color back in the 80s. Uh, so check this out. Here's MF Doom as a 19-year-old on C-SPAN, remixed by the Beat Bar. Take it away, Jay. I'm a punk. So what? I'm a punk. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a punk. So what? I'm a punk. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a punk So what? I'm a punk I'm a, I'm a, I'm a punk so Yeah, that's it, thank you Yeah, I want to reintroduce you know, my name My partner's name My name is Zev Love X Zev for short I'm on it So, um, we're from K the rap group KMD Now, I'm 19 years old, right? And, um, before three months ago When I first met Steve Barr I really knew nothing about politics. I didn't deal with it. I didn't, you know, I wasn't into it, right? But on the 
other hand, I was into cars, or I knew what kind of car I would like to get, or, you know what I'm saying? So, when he introduced me to this um, Motor Voter Bill, I saw, I mean, as soon as he introduced me to it, I saw the change it make in me, because it made the change in me as soon as, you know, so the first day he introduced me to the bill. That public service announcement the first day, just right there after you know explained the whole thing to me, so it was easy for me to understand. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to um, a lot of other things in politics, I don't even you know what I'm saying? I don't even deal with. It. So this is so easy for me to understand that I did the pub public service announcement and then went on to this tour. But we did. You know what I'm we just got just the last day of the tour. I was on it for three weeks. Right now, if it was that easy for me to understand. And that's, that's why we went on the tour, because I knew two our colleges, I mean, they are age group, and they understand what we're saying, being that they look up to us, or, you know what I'm we're figures that they would like to listen to, or we have a voice in the community as far as young people. Um, I knew that if it appealed to me, the first time I heard it, it would appeal to them. And um, we have proof that the 4,000 cards were filled out, 4,000 of um, those cards got filled out from the tour. I think I think it can really make change as far as I'm concerned, you know, as far as young people. Thank you. So what? I'm a punk. Yeah, I guess Why they thought you want to admit that though. What? Uh, I'm a punk. Oh, uh, uh, me? I mean, I thought that was fitting with MF Doom because I bet they looked at this black 19-year-old rapper at, in C-SPAN like, man, who's this kid think he is? You know? But guess what? Like he activated thousands of voters on tour. Mm -hmm. Thousands. And he wasn't even, you know, KMD wasn't the biggest name when they were out. So imagine if one of the bigger names had picked that up. And in fact, they did. Um, you know, hip hop has always been synonymous with politics. Um, hip hop is yeah. counterculture, you know. And uh, if there's one thing that you can convey with hip hop, it's a message that maybe not everybody's in accordance with. But you know, you can get your your message out, you know, and get in front of people. Anyways, okay. Um, NWA prime example. NWA is a perfect example. You know, fuck the police. Okay, here we go. Sorry. Wait, yeah, fuck the police. Nine one one's a joke. All right. Back to the vinyl retrospective here. Look at this. A lot of people don't know that the movie Rappin', look at that wow. smiling, look at the smiling Mario Van Peebles. I don't think I was even thought of when that Just look at the smiling, and who's the actor to the immediate left of Mario Van Peebles, guys? Call in and tell us. If you know who that actor is who looks it's, so familiar. Oh, yeah. Right? I won't say nothing. Who is that guy? It's a different world. Oh, don't you? Oh. You know, so right. you totally Shut ruined up. it. No, I didn't. Whatever. No. Call in if you know who that uh, <laughs> person is on the side of Mario Van Peebles. Call in and call in if you want tickets to uh, Static Selecta this Saturday. Um, if you want tickets to Static Selecta this Saturday, call 202-332-8494. Uh, we are giving away tickets. It's pretty much just that simple. Folks in the back, make sure you take their name and number. All right. So, uh, oh, this is Ice-T. This is autographed by Ice-T. And the reason it's autographed by Ice-T is because uh, he's on the soundtrack. Okay. We're going to continue here with the vinyl retrospective of all the autographed pieces from the Hip Hop Museum at Listen Vision. A lot of people you may, maybe not are familiar with Afu Ra. Okay. But that's okay. The reason why we have this is because of the record cover, which is D&D &D Records. D&D Studios is absolutely synonymous with hip-hop. Okay, yes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, DJ Premier is actually one of their engineers and producers at D&D, &D, along with many other very talented uh, engineers and, and, and producers. Uh, but that's why we have this one, to kind of commemorate D&D. &D. And uh, thank you to, I forget who donated, it was donated to the collection, so whenever we get a donation... And also we see some very popular names on that, uh, that vinyl as well. Hold that back up for a second, Guru. Oh shit! I didn't even Guru's on that? here. I didn't even. 
I didn't even peep that. Go go zoom in on there. Now I'm not familiar with um, Hannibal Stacks. Not at all, but but I am f you know familiar with Guru. Wow. But if he got something going on with Guru, he you know he got to be a uh, official. So Afu uh, people who know heads that know know Afu Raz the shit. Right. Okay, moving on. Now just this last Thursday. We were able to meet up with the one and only, like I was saying, large professor. And uh, there's his autograph in the uh, bottom right-hand corner there. And I love his autograph because it says, The Large Pro, <laughs> with a star and a little crown. And there's something about that that I just, I fuck with hard. I think that's dope. So, I don't want to ill. I just want to chill and wrap my hand around what? A hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollar bill, which we discussed is now probably a thousand dollars with interest. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? Can, can you hold that back up? Can I do it? The real hip hop! The ah. real hip hop! What, what B-dub? What is this? The real hip hop! The real hip hop! Hip hop! Hip hop! That's, That's right what that is. is. Right. That's right it is. Nice. Facts. All right, moving right along. Now, this is near and dear to my heart because um, because Prodigy is no longer with us, but uh, Listen Vision is lucky to, enough to have recorded uh, Put Them in Their Place, uh, which is the single off of the Blood Money album. Um, the Blood Money is the album that was signed by G-Unit and 50 Cent. And uh, VIP right there, uh, VIP right there, that's Prodigy. So Prodigy changed his name to VIP. Uh, for this, uh, for that album, um, and Havoc uh, did not. It's just uh, kept his name as Havoc. But this is 2006, and we are so lucky. If you want to check out the track that we produced and the remix, um, put them in their place. You can go to Listen Vision Records on YouTube. On YouTube, Listen Vision Records. Okay, man, we're moving at a at a fast pace. Let's do one more real quickly. This is uh, this is one of the mo that one of the rarest most incredible pieces in the entire collection here wow. this is a oh, record wait, signed love. by heavy d dj g wiz eddie f ef cutton trouble t roy r.i.p 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 trouble t roy and the one and only grap lover who verified that that is trouble t roy's signature right so this is a really really incredible uh piece here in our collection and uh we're lucky to have it. We're very lucky to have it. Okay. Without further ado, I'd like to take a little quick break. Okay. Um, when we come back, we're going to see if this is edible or regrettable. Okay? Edible or regrettable. It looks disgusting. I got to be honest with giving you. It a oh, no. Cherry punch. I was giving it a thumbs down until it said cherry punch. Dude. I don't like the red uh, flavored things. I'm more of a purple or a blue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I literally, I'm probably going to gag when I eat this, but oh, no, shit, it's air. my fault. I thought of it. I don't All right. Uh, <laughs> let's go real quickly. Uh, our digital content manager, Jacob Moss, animated our rates and services because most folks are very lazy and uh, they don't want to uh, read or click or find shit. That is very true. So we just put it in front of their faces so that they can just, maybe they're, they can blink. That's all they need to do. Just blink, watch this, and all you gotta do is just blink, but don't close your eyes, just, just, blink. just blink. These are all of the rates and you services. You to do that, right? <laughs> all of the rates and services. That's the only thing last. That's, that, that's the only last thing that people are willing. They're like, okay, I'll blink. That's it. They won't go to anything. They won't support you, but they'll blink. It's so natural, Jacob. It's natural. Blink. Just here we go. I'm going to blink <laughs> this clip onto playing. Ready? In three, two, one.
Hey everyone, we're back, and I'm Jeremy Beaver, CEO and founder of Listen Vision, with my DJ B B B Dub the Boy Wonder. Oh God, my DJ has picked up a stutter, but that's okay. <laughs> that was a hiccup. Oh, you really gonna get a hiccup in a second? A Cause we got our candy uh, thing. <laughs> Before yep. we go on with that, can I just drop a PSA in the studio? Like, it smells really good in here. Yeah, what, what's, what's smelling so good, y'all? Someone cooking some food in here? It smells hell. delicious. Please share. All right, I don't know why I'm using the megaphone. Probably because I'm the only show that does. So here we go. Candy challenge starting now. Oh, boo. All right, so I went to the store. I was at the store already. And I saw this shit. And I literally thought to myself, God, that's got to be the nastiest looking thing I've ever seen. It's a rope filled with jizz or I don't know what it is, dude. Look at that. It looks horrible. So I was like, ah, we should try eating it, seeing if we like it. Sweet tarts. All right. The ingredients. Maltodextrin. I love. <laughs> what did you just say? Go ahead. Maltodextrin. Bang, bang. <laughs> you, are you bang banging my maltodextrin? And sodium citrate, glycerin, and malic acid. We're gonna die. Alright. Bang, bang. bang bang. Alright. I just wanna boo this. I already just. Yo, this smells so dis. You don't even. Can he you get the it. smell? Can you zoom in and get this smell? No, you don't Scratch have... Scratch and sniff your, uh, your screen right there. This is Dude, that, this is the worst... Oh, oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. All right. Take one. Do I even want to take one? I, I think it comes in chunks. Yeah, take that whole chunk. No, I don't want the yeah, chunk. Take the chunk. No. Take the chunk. You gotta... Oh, God. I don't even want to eat this. So the thing is, I normally actually... I like licorice. But if you if you could just oh you're already going right oh you just done? all right we're going right fine. You know what this makes me want to do? Puff on the bomb. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Like even after you puff on the bomb, you would eat this. You don't like it? It tastes like chapstick. Bang bang. Bang bang. It literally. It literally tastes like I'm eating my um, Blistex. It's not bad. <laughs> hey, um, come but try this. What is this shit in the middle? Come here. I need I need a third party. Where is this in the middle? My fingers are totally clean, by the way. Come here. Come sit. Come over here. Take one bite. Can you get this? Can you zoom in on that in the middle? Like, what the hell is that nougat? What's What's your immediate reaction to that? Wax. Bang bang. bang. The standard gets so low when you get to candy like this. She's going for more. All right. Well, come, come, come. Come visit. It's Green Heron. Green Heron. Did I get that right? Green Heron, y'all. Yeah. Come visit Green Heron. That's my family. And Stoner Gang and uh, Scooby Dabbington here at uh, Fire Fridays. Um, their edibles taste way better than this shit. Yeah. I'll put yeah. it to you like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys can have this. Y'all can have this. So, all right. Now let's. No, hold on. This shit is better than them Pop Rocks. Well, that's not even. Like, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so, last week we had Pop Rocks. And uh, for some reason, I remembered them being so much tastier in my childhood. But I tried them last. Uh, when you left, I poured the entire two containers in my mouth all at one time. Because I just wanted to see, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like fucking old and lame, and like that was my, was that was my evening. I immediately regretted doing that. I like immediately was like, oh god, and then like the, the it started popping too much. Mm -hmm. Anyways, well, edible or regrettable? I like it. I I would say say edible. Edible. <laughs> All right. Well, I get a vote too, y'all. And just because I don't have an applause machine doesn't mean that, you know, my vote's less important. But I am telling you right now, that's what I think of this. 
That's the only purpose that I think that uh, this type of candy would serve. There we go. All right, that game was really fun. Wow. Uh, I am never going to eat those ever again. I'm still eating on mine. I love it. All right, good for you. All right, well, let's go back to uh, things related to booty. You know, speaking of booty, and I say booty because it tastes like uh, booty cheese. So, uh, big booty, big booty is important. And when you got a big booty, yeah, yeah, you got a big booty, ass, ass, ass. You make a song called "Baby Got Back," and uh, that's why we have this. You listen, I'm not. It's not like you know this is the greatest hip hop song of all time, but we had to have it because it's like, how do you not have it? Do you know what I'm saying? You kind of just have to have Baby's Got Back in your collection. With that being said, we don't have Ice Ice Baby or anything by Vanilla Ice. And we have chosen to not have anything by Vanilla Ice because we don't actually consider Vanilla Ice a legitimate part of hip hop. Wow. Damn. We got we got snarks and people sneezing and that was the best one-hit wonder song ever. Like, bro, He was a one-hit hit wonder, but just because you are a one-hit wonder does not that mean that you sh- had a, a, an influential or Come lasting... On, bro. Bro, really? Uh, you really wasn't loving this? Are you trying to trigger something? Oh, I hear it. Little turn up. Turn it up a little bit. This is how you fuck with me, huh? No ice, ice, baby. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. You're not going to play this song. Nope. Just stop. All right, stop. And nothing else. Don't collaborate. Don't listen. Ice is not back, and he has no brand new renditions. I had to do it to him. You're All welcome. Right, yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> what am I saying you're welcome for? <laughs> this show's stupid. Um... This is Dr. J- <laughs> Don't. Why? Go ahead. All right. This. What do you got? Dr. Dre. The Chronic. So many people, uh, when they, we were asking them what the three, you know, albums you would play to someone who's never heard hip hop before in their life, uh-huh. many, many folks said The Chronic. And, uh, you know, who can blame them? Who can blame them? This one is signed by Snoop Dogg. Snoop D O G. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is Scarface, signed Ghetto Boys. We can't be stopped. Signed by Scarface. We also have the gold and, and You remember that was actually a real picture. Yes, and this, is, this is a real picture. He accidentally shot his own eye out. Oh, um, that Everclear. Yeah, don't, don't, don't play with guns and drink Everclear. Hey, Amen. that's the moral of that story. That's literally the moral to that story. This we got at uh, the Bridge Concert Series at um, the Kennedy Center. I love that. Where Curtis, 60-year-old Curtis Blow, actually not only breakdanced, but did a headstand. Shout out Curtis Blow and the do-it-yourself instrumental, which apparently is the reason why Lord Jamar became a rapper. Because it had the instrumental and it you know, said do-it-yourself. So he did just that and became one-fourth of... Brand Nubian. Big Daddy Kane. We did an entire episode with Big Daddy Kane. Not with him, but we did it with Andy Katz, who has many, many incredible illustrations and paintings of uh, Big Daddy Kane. Many of them signed. Go back on YouTube, search District Spotlight, and check out our Big Daddy Kane episode. It was really, really cool. And everything all about Big Daddy Kane. Minus the dookie rope. We got to get a dookie rope in the collection. We don't have one. Getting down to uh, kind of the uh, the last few here. This is a really, uh, this is, is an autograph, but this is really rare. Keep the crowd listening. DJ Premier, produced by DJ Premier and featuring uh, Lord Finesse. This is an unbelievably rare picture disc uh, featuring the both of them. And look at this crown at the top here. Look at that crown, kind of similar to the large pro autograph. Uh, three three uh, pointed crown there. Uh, and that stands, LF stands for Lord Finesse. Uh, stay tuned in February, on February 9th, right B-Dub? We have uh, the one and only yes, 
Uh, J. Ru the Damager will be on the program. J. Ru will be our guest, uh, Skyping in from Berlin, Germany, where he now lives. Uh, Lord uh, J. Ru the Damager. And uh, before I hit you with the last four, I would like to take a little bit of a break here and uh, show you some of the combo deals. Just like we go to McDonald's. Well, no one goes to McDonald's anymore. Just like when you go anywhere and you buy multiple things, people package them together and they become cheaper, like a meal deal. I didn't want to say like a combo deal at McDonald's because I just feel like that's a shitty example. But yeah, we got combo deals like McDonald's, okay? Put together some mastering, some studio time, and some spins. You put those together, and they become a whole lot less expensive, okay? Those are called combo deals. They're on our website. Everything that we offer here at Listen Vision is uh, available for purchase online. And uh, don't forget, you can call in right now for some very special studio discounts and specials, 202-332-8494. Or just call in for the Static Selecta tickets, which are he's performing this uh, Saturday. Okay, so right now let's go to those combo deals from Listen Vision. You can get them all now at listenvision.com. Jay, roll that clip. And we're back. District Spotlight every Friday at 5. Thank you so much for everyone for tuning in. Those are our combos, and you can get them all on the website. But I want to quickly finish up all the rest of the vinyl here uh, because we got so many awesome units. So this is a Mix Master Mike uh, signed vinyl, Jacob. And uh, it's signed by Mix Master Mike on uh, – I was record shopping in New York, and the Beastie Boys with Mix Master Mike performed – on Saturday Night Live. And when I was record shopping, I looked up and I said, Hey, man, you look a whole lot like Mixmaster Mike. And he stayed silent. And then I stared at his hat and it said, M, M, M. At which point I realized, dummy, you talking to Mixmaster Mike. Whoops. So this is what he said. What's up, boom? Stay up. Mixmaster Mike of the Invisible Scratch Pickles and the Beastie Boys DJ Assassin. God, I love Mixmaster Mike. He's the shit. Okay. Jacob, did did you play the, our, the, your Talib Kweli on today's show? Yeah. So Talib Kweli, uh, we did an awesome exclusive interview with uh, Eddie Kane and Talib Kweli. And Asheru is a local MC uh, here in this area and we ch who had a single oh, featuring no. Talib Kweli. And so we got his single signed by Talib Kweli when we did the interview. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, signed piece in the entire collection is Let the Rhythm Hit Em. Let the Rhythm Hit Em, signed by Rakim, my favorite MC of all time. And what's interesting, actually, about Let the Rhythm Hit Em, it was produced by who? Large Professor. That's right. And many other hits by Eric B. and Rakim that he was not credited for. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother show. The last piece of vinyl I want to show you is by one of my favorite groups of all time, the Beat Nuts. Which we played earlier. Which we played earlier. That's Psycho Let. Whoops. Nope. That's Big Jew. Juju. This is Psycho Less. And together, they are... The Beat Nuts. Look at his cell phone in his hand, you guys. Look at that cell phone. Does that bring back any memories for anyone? No? Just me? All right. That's fine. Is I'll that brush. a flip? No, Not even. No, it's no, before, no, the that's flip. before the flip. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, there we have it. The unbelievable retrospective of all of the vinyl, uh, autographed hip-hop vinyl that we have here at the uh, Hip Hop Museum. Obviously, you know, the one I didn't mention, um, well, this is the Humpty Dance, but the one I didn't mention is um, this new one that we got in, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, signed by Grandmaster Flash and the five furious members of that group. Right, so... Uh, this has been the show. I want to quickly let you know about these incredible events that we have here at the studio every single week. Uh, Jay, I told them about Fire Fridays. You know, if you want to throw that flyer up, you know, every single Friday from noon until 10 p.m. right here. Come check out all of the number one networkers and kings of the cannabis scene here in the DMV every Friday, noon until 10 p.m. And then on Tuesdays, blam, kabow, kaplooey. And then every Tuesday, okay, every Wednesday, we have Work It Wednesday. Work It Wednesday, I was just telling uh, the gentleman here standing in the studio with the incredible jacket that anyone who's a fashion designer, stylist, if you own a brand or a boutique uh, or accessories or jewelry, come be a part of Work It Wednesdays. Every single Wednesday, 12 noon until 10 p.m., all day long, with pop-up shops here at the studio for men's apparel and women's apparel. And then on Tuesday, get your fat boy on with Tasty Tuesdays. Vendors uh, vending oh. edibles and food and oh. caterers. And there was a taste test. We cooked burger bombs oh. last Tuesday. Uh, and, uh, oh. and we ate all of that shit. And oh. it was delicious. Oh, my God. Shout out oh. the Freedom Chef who cooked uh, burgers with uh, that were infused and had crab and cheese and I bacon. And it was literally like, yeah, like, I'm see drooling. that face? See oh, that face? I'm drooling. Oh. It was just like, oh, uh, yeah. Look at it. Yeah. He's getting, okay. Wow. Oh, donuts. Hot and heavy over there. But it wasn't donuts. donuts. <laughs> and also, can I get a shameless plug on that one? Sure. Since you uh, see me on Fridays, each and every Friday here at Fire Fridays. And if you like what I do here, make sure you catch me on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Tuesdays, yeah, thank you. Tuesdays, World's longest Tasty Tuesdays. Trump that, was, that really was. I'm sorry. We're, and we're gonna we're gonna work on the theme of Tuesdays in terms of like spinning some different type of stuff. Right, right, right. It's gonna be more kind of soul and jazz and lo-fi and things that make you hungry and want to eat food. I got you. Okay. So that's been our show today. Absolutely action packed. I appreciate it. We beat up. Where can folks if feel folks want you to DJ their wedding or bar mitzvah or party? Where you're still that shit is disgusting, man. But whatever, I won't judge you. Where can they find you if they want you to spin for them? Um, you can look at me up on Facebook, uh, DJ B Dub. Actually, like my personal page. I appreciate it. Sorry to smack in your ear, but this shit is so damn good. Um, also, you can email me wonderfuldjs at gmail dot com, and I would not put my personal number out there. But yeah, you can call me as well. So I'm around. Okay, Catch you you here. you heard it here first. Mm -hmm. So, Tuesdays, Tasty Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Work It Wednesdays, Work and it. Fridays, Fire Fridays. I'm Jeremy Beaver, CEO, CEO and founder of Listen Vision. You've been watching District Spotlight, and we'll catch you Studio here. Studio audience, can we get some love? Clap it up, clap it up, clap Woo! it up. Thank you. Thank you. District Spotlight, another edition in the can. We will catch you back here next Friday at 5. Peace.
number one recording studio. Oh. 